All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a little upgrade on this little uh, Bluetooth speaker I found. Um, somebody was uh, nice enough to uh, throw it away. Uh, sounds like garbage, so I'm gonna um, do a little upgrade on the speakers. Um, so I did a kind of a couple of prep um, um, things for this. Uh, I got the uh, screen cover taken out. You got these two uh, little um, five uh, five watt speakers. Um, not don't sound too great, and they sound kind of garbagey when they're being used. So these are toast. So I just took those out, and now I'm going to replace them with these uh, two. 15 watt speakers that I pulled out of a, a little um, set of computer speakers. So I'm gonna do a little soldering, get these connected up and uh, get these holes cut out. And then uh, we'll, we'll stop back in a sec. All right, so I'm sort of to cut these holes out. I'm just going around the perimeter of this, adding a couple of small cuts to get to the sides that I need. Small enough, and evenly enough to part, they'll uh, break off pretty easily and hopefully in that good pattern. Alright, so that's what it should look like, and I'll do that again on this one here too. So once you get the uh, sawtooth cut in, um, I usually just break them off uh, with a pair of pliers, just break them back and forth, and uh, they break off pretty clean, and I go around with them with a file, go around with a file and uh, clean it up. So I make the hole size that I need it. Anyway. All right, next part of this is to, uh, I gotta solder on these contacts. Uh, see the, what connects to the, the speakers. Uh, so I'm just gonna match up the red to red and the black to black, solder those on. And then I uh, should be able to get the speakers uh, put in. All right, so got the holes cut out. Um, I soldered these together so they're nice and solid. Um, so they won't come off, but I threw some dolphins on there just to keep them crimped together. And uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of just attaching the uh, red to the positive and black to the negative on these speakers and then mounting them up. Uh, so let's see, let's see how it goes. Alright, so I've got these speakers cut in. Hmm. Alright, so here's the speaker as it is now. Uh, I just have to uh, put the grill on and uh, that's pretty much official, officially back in business. So, oh, maybe not. I got a, a little problem here. Speaker's hitting that tab. Well, it's a, it's a uh, workbench speaker anyway, so don't need the tab. things down anyway let's give it a go and see how it sounds all right here's the new uh, Bluetooth speaker it's pretty loud so, uh, just from my workbench so after putting a big system I did was uh, take out the old uh, three watt speakers that were on the inside. These are pretty shallow, so if you're going to do it, make sure that whatever the enclosure you're putting it in is going to fit because uh, this one's obviously quite a bit deeper. Uh, but it's also a more quality speaker, too, so it sounds better. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.